Manga Wido. The company I work for has about 30 employees. It's a small web design company. I'm Mao Nanase. I'm 25 and just joined the programming department. Our company's business performance has been really good, so everybody is always in a good mood. <laughs> we always get off work on time and often go out for drinks. Mao, let's go grab some drinks. Um, I have plans today. They invite me almost every day, but I decline their offers these days. One reason is that I don't handle alcohol very well. And the other reason is... His name is Soda Nagato. He's also 25. He's in charge of the outsource staff and works alone most of the time. He never joins the after-work get-togethers. He always stays at the office alone and continues working. All of the employees, including the CEO, are not very fond of him. He's an introvert and doesn't like talking to people. He's extremely busy. He gets phone calls from our clients all day to ask for his support. Everybody talks bad about his lack of ability to do his job right. You're still here? Look around and learn! I'm not paying you for overtime! You're just bad at getting your work done! The CEO is in his 40s, and he has a military-like character. He gets us a lot of jobs to get done, but he doesn't know a thing about designs or technology. So he doesn't understand the content of Soda's work, and his advice tends to be all about grit and guts. He doesn't talk to anybody even if he comes out with us. He's better off working here all alone. Well, I guess that's true. Okay, let's go then. The other employees just sit there and laugh at him. I've never seen any of them concerned for him or lending a hand to help him. Why don't we help him just a little? We're supposed to be working together. That loser likes working by himself. Mao, don't spoil him just because you guys came here around the same time. I tried talking to them once, but they laughed it off, and my voice didn't seem to reach them at all. Is there anything I can do? No, it's really okay. <laughs> Don't be so stubborn. Let me help you out. Thanks. Then can you do this part? I'm new here, so there's only so much I can do, but I tried to help out as much as possible. Another day at the office. The other employees did have a point. Soda indeed got a lot of phone calls from his clients. And today was no different. Look, Soda's getting another call. Why does he get so many calls all the time? It's because he doesn't do his job right. His clients are probably calling him to fix something or to complain about his work. We try to teach him as much as we can, but you know how he is. Gosh, what an impudent brat! Soda answered each call politely, no matter how many calls he had to take. One day, the CEO came rushing in and started yelling. Apparently, there was an important item that wasn't delivered on time. WHO THE HELL IS RESPONSIBLE FOR THIS?! Soda, sir. One employee pointed Soda out. Huh? Um, well... Remember? I asked you to take care of it? YOU AGAIN! I CAN'T TAKE THIS ANYMORE! YOU'RE SO SLOW AT YOUR JOB! AND YOU MAKE SO MANY MISTAKES! WE DON'T NEED YOU ANYMORE! DON'T YOU DARE COME INTO THE OFFICE TOMORROW! YOU'RE FIRED! Uh, uh, hold on a second! I couldn't believe he was firing Soda without hearing both sides of the story. I opened my mouth to protest, but then... I understand. Thank you very much. What? Soda smirked just for a second, and then he accepted the CEO's order. I was left standing there with my mouth open. Hmm. <laughs> I'm so glad I got rid of that useless jerk. We need to apologize to the client for the delay. The item that the CEO was talking about was apparently very important. He gave the client a call to apologize for the incident. Please accept my sincere apologies for all the trouble. One of our employees, Sota Nagato, is responsible for everything. Oh, Mr. Nagato's in charge. Hey, don't worry about it. Huh? Oh, thank you so much. We're aware that the deadline we requested was short. I'm sure Mr. Nagato will take care of everything. I have trust in him. Please, tell them I said hi. Well, about Nagato. Thanks again for calling. And then the client hung up the phone. The CEO sat in front of the screen with a blank face because he couldn't tell the client about what had happened with Nagato. The next day, something unusual started happening in the office. All right, who's up for some drinks tonight? Regular office work hours were over and the CEO stood up. However... Nobody else stood up to follow him. 
What's going on? We have so much more work to do. <laughs> what? It wasn't just one employee. Everybody was desperately typing into their computers to get their work done. There's too much to do. We can't finish anything on time. Don't be an idiot. It's no different from yesterday. Well. Why can't you finish it? Tell me why. We always made Soda do most of the workload. What? Uh, oh. I looked around and every single employee had their head down. This can't be. They all made Soda do all their work? We didn't want to work overtime, so we made him do all the tiring work. He made little mistakes and stuff, but he did it anyways. I mean, he didn't complain about it either. Even if that's true, why is it that you all can't finish what Soda was doing all on his own? Nobody opened their mouth, and nobody could answer the CEO's question. There are six people in the programming department right now. I guess nobody wanted to admit that we couldn't even do one-sixth of the work Soda was doing every day. Anyways, get on it right away! You're not going home until you're finished! We spent the next months in hell, and our work hours grew longer and longer. We got phone calls from clients all day, every day. Every client that called asked for Soda. They didn't want to talk to anybody else. Oh, Mr. Nagato's not there? Okay, bye. Damn, he's not in. I'll try to catch him some other time. What? Mr. Nagato's away? Well, I always thought he worked too hard. He deserves a break. Please, tell him I called. All of the clients hung up once they found out Soda wasn't at the office. Everybody was freaking out. We didn't know what was going on. The phone rang again, and the CEO took the call. It was from our most valued client. Hi there, sir. It's good to hear from you. How can I help you today? Well, actually, I wanted to ask you guys to do another job for me. Can I talk to Mr. Nagato about it? I'm so sorry, sir. Nagato has left the company. He's gone? I see. I guess I'll have to take back my request then. Huh? It's a shame that he's gone. He was a trustworthy employee. He was always so kind when we asked for something or whenever we needed his help. Many other companies also said the same thing about Soda. Our clients kept canceling their job offers after hearing that Soda had left our company. We found out that Soda kept getting all those phone calls because the clients relied on him to fix all the mistakes caused by other employees. He was also very kind and considerate and always put himself in the client's shoes. That's why so many of our clients trusted him. We should ask him to come back. I suggested we bring Soda back to the company. The CEO and all the other employees agreed. We couldn't possibly keep working like this. However... I'm so sorry I am! Please help us! Can you come back and work with us? I'm sorry. I really can't. Please! We'll do anything! Without you, this company will... The CEO kneeled and put his head against the floor. Please don't do that. I can't go back no matter what. I work for a different company, and I'm dedicated to them. He was already settled, and nothing the CEO said could change his mind. After that, the company continued to fall apart, and it went bankrupt six months later. The employees who had forced Soda to do their work all lost their jobs, and the CEO ended up deep in debt. Obviously, I lost my job too. I would love to have you join my team at my company. Are you interested by any chance? But Soda introduced me to his new office, and luckily I didn't end up jobless. Soda had only been there for a little while, but he was already in charge of his team. Lately, I find myself drawn to him because of his sincere attitude towards his work. But it's still my little secret. <laughs>